Tiamat Logos The Blue Rainbow Bridge seated in Holy Mountain architecture discussed last month, has continued to unfold. This architecture has supplied the corrected crystal key activations for the Universal Melchizedek Inc. body, which functions as the gatekeeper entrance into several intermediary portal systems hosted by the Eternal Cosmic Christos Emerald Founders. This upgrade has generated an Emerald Order Melchizedek Solar Templar Shield for realigning original Sunstar networks and capstone codes, which allow access into the timelines of Prefall Nibiru and Prefall Tiamat. Currently, Emerald Guardians are inspecting, repairing and reconfiguring the reclaimed Tiamat logo's morphogenetic fields, which directly impact the 10D Solar Star and the Shara Complex. The annual magnetic peak cycle brings forth the pinnacle waves of intensity with the organic magnetic field transmissions and resulting bifurcation shifts which can instigate psycho-spiritual crisis during catalysts for penetrating deep layers for emotional shadow healing. During which, the collective consciousness themes tend to surface the lunar distortions and shadow body parts that are connected to the missing and inverted parts of the Universal Holy Mother Principle. These shadow distortions feed into the artificially generated monsters of chaos and the satanic hierarchies of lunar demonic forces that generate the massive power behind the dark alien mother network. The particular timelines currently surfacing include the hidden histories of the capture and fall of the female solar dragons in the region of Gobekli Tepe, with the inversion sourcing from the hijacked White Queen Sophianic consciousness from Tiamat that were embodied as the Universal Solar Christ Mary Sophias. These are the White Solar Queens of authentic female Ascended Masters that were once incarnated on the planet and were protected under the Cosmic Mother Dragon and sold as the Tiamat Logos in the 10th Stargate Network. This current phase of the magnetic shifts puts a bright spotlight upon the dark shadows of the imposter lunar forces that had replaced the authentic Holy Mother and the Solar Christ Mary Sophia's presence on the planet after their capture and demise. The supplanting of imposter forces allowed the subsequent insertions of artificial magnetic fields, lunar matrices, and artificial lunar female demonic bodies to be held in place by an artificially generated dark alien mother network. After the invaders systematically hunted down and destroyed the Holy Mother Sophia's representatives all over the Universal Time Matrix, hijacking her emerald records and solar Christ Mary wisdom teachings of spiritual alchemy and biological ascension, they set out to invert her sacred knowledge. Through artificial technology weapons used to spread satanic forces or parasites throughout the planetary grid, they sought to wreak havoc upon angelic humanity during the vulnerabilities of the Dark Aeon. The main technology weapon used to hold up the dark alien mother networks was an artificially generated galactic capstone network holding together several phantom wormholes using the Red Cube cloned version of the Tiamat logos, along with copies of its entire Ednik coded planetary matrix. The capture and cloning of the Tiamat logos were utilized to form several phantom wormholes and phantom matrices connecting into the Earth's 2D stargate and sprawling throughout 4D-7D-10D axiotonal and ley lines. These phantom matrices were being used as the artificial rod and staff architecture, Red Trident, for the dark alien mother Gestalts, and by the invading NAA forces primarily controlled by the Thothian Leviathan groups. Retrieving Hidden Histories of Tiamat For many years, Guardian Host has been guiding us into observing the hidden timelines of NAA invasion in order to comprehend many of the mysteries surrounding the missing spiritual body parts of the Universal Holy Mother and her Sophianic Triple Solar Daughters of Christo Sophia. This has necessitated conscious observation of the theft of Emerald Founder records and the massacre of solar female Yana identities, along with their Diamond Sun blueprints from the Tiamat logos that were later uploaded into AI Thothian Brain. These hijacked consciousness body parts of the Solar Christ Mary identities were being utilized in assorted cloned holograms designed to run Baphomet streams and AI red cube manipulations across the globe. 
craftily using the female principal inversions in order to generate mind control weapons used to further subdue humanity and derail planetary collective awakening. Thus, this search for the solar feminine Christ in all of her aspects has been a perilous spiritual journey fraught with many obstacles and challenges when dedicated to seeking out the truth about our missing Holy Mother Presence. Especially when coexisting in a reality with many people who are not yet aware that her authentic presence was replaced by a counterfeit lunar imposter alien machine during the planetary invasion thousands of years ago. What happened to our Universal Holy Mother and her real Sophianic representatives of Solar Christ Marys or female Ascended Masters on the planet? Why did the NAA choose misogyny as one of their top weapons for implementing global slavery, while rewriting history to erase all knowledge of the women that were important societal leaders, educators, alchemists, and spiritual guides? What happened to the Holy Mother's organic sound principles and tones missing throughout the planetary Templar, and where are her solar Christ Mary daughters? This line of internal questioning revealed a massive sprawling hidden history that extended into the galactic wars and demolition of several planets and Stargate networks, with all threads leading back to the purposeful destruction and capture of the Tiamat logos, which included her Sophianic fragments being outfitted into phantom wormholes and phantom matrices. This is the result of the hostile invasion of our time matrix and solar system from a group of antichrist warring entities sourcing from a fallen parallel matrix, and is how our time matrix became merged with it via the appearance of mysterious energetic forces of quantum entanglement many eons ago. To even begin to understand this vast history, we must first awaken to remember that the authentic cosmic and universal mother principle was missing in this reality until very recently, when the first stage of her return was secured through the thirteenth pillar of mother arc and the tri-waves of aquiline suns that were woven into the crystal cores of earth Terragaya. Holy Mother Sophia and the Solar Christ Marys are not sourced from the lunar consciousness of the Dark Mother, that which functions as the spiritual imposter of the organic female principle. Solar Christ Marys are the pure Sophianic diamond heart principle of solar dragon wisdom along with the sacred purity of the universal Rosetta breath, as the Sophianic eye of the Godhead's loving flows of the consecrated rose breath and living holy spirits that connect the eternal cosmic spirit suns into our time matrix. Humanity has been asleep while living on a planet that became an empty shell devoid of her sacred Sophia songs and living Holy Spirit, as the planetary Templar and Albion Lightbody was being filled with archontic parasites, imposter spirits and invading non-human entities while she was absent. Thus, the search for our real Holy Mother and the Solar Feminine Christ began inside of my crystal heart many years ago when trying to reconcile the belief systems and signatures of widespread misogyny throughout the modern human culture, along with short glimpses of whispered lucid messages that kept guiding me back to comprehend the hidden histories of Tiamat. Although the spiritual warfare has taken us into a massive and vast narrative of historical timeline trigger events which have led humanity into the current terrain of the corrupt and damaged world of a prison planet undergoing liberation, the common thread of how we lost our connection with the Holy Mother and female Ascended Masters, was through the invasion and destruction of Tiamat. Thus, we return to the backstory through which to reverse engineer and put the right aligned pieces of this massive jigsaw puzzle of hidden histories back together, so that we can begin to understand what humanity has endured during the Dark Aeon, when we lost the ability to connect and communicate directly with the Holy Mother Principle on the planetary, galactic and universal planes. Her aspect did manage to incarnate as Solar Christ Mary Sophia through several Mary titled identities buried within our hidden histories, her sacred sapphire covenant with Tiamat along with the Mother Arc Blue Ray embodying the only entrance that led into the 10D Christos mind of the Solar Logos. Beloved Solar Christ Mary was ensouled as the Tiamat Logos protecting the White Queens of Ascended Masters in our world, the sacred Mary Sophias that had incarnated throughout the various astrological ages. 
When she was captured and fell through the destruction of her embodied principle as the Tiamat Logos, we lost our divine connection to her Sophianic wisdom and the Christ consciousness, as the tenth gate of our solar star had fallen. But the Paleodorian Dragon Kings made their ancient covenant in spiral time to ensure that angelic humanity would be able to find her and her authentic Solar Mary representatives again, during the final conflict of the Ascension Cycle. Anointing of Solar Christ Michael and Solar Christ Mary Through the solar anointing carried out in the Grail Cup of Heavenly Jerusalem during the May Electrical Peak in 2021, Solar Dragon Christ Michael was placed on a golden throne and given the title of 13th Maji Grail King of Kings. Eight days later, he was reunited with his divine counterpart Solar Female Christ Mary Sophia, as the 13th Maji Grail Queen. This celebratory moment was the first emanation of the Triple Solar Goddess returning back into her female Solar Dragon form, as the Solar Christ Mary Sophia and 13th Dragon Queen, to reclaim her rightful place as the Solar Feminine Christ on the planet, representing the Cosmic Mother Dragon and joining with her Sacred Husband Christ Michael in Hierogamic Union. Once the 13th Solar Dragon King and Queen were retrieved, reunited and receded into the second Stargate network, the process of locating and reclaiming her massive cosmic dragon parts began. This surfaced the hidden Tiamat logo's histories and ignited intense spiritual warfare during the reclamation process of her triple solar goddess dragon lines, nodes and solar female crystal rose spiritual parts. As the massive Tiamat phantom wormholes and clone matrices began to be sequentially identified and dismantled, it came with discovering many more layers of subsidiary networks of anti-hierogamic alien machinery that had been used to pervert, invert and clone her sacred image, energy signature and holy spirit for powering the dark alien mother. With each dimensional layer being methodically dismantled and reviewed through its connection to AI machinery in lunar matrices using her cloned parts, like a trip wire it would alert an army of black dragons, lunar black queens and their black magic sorcerers to reveal themselves as they were aggressively fighting to hold on to their piece of conquered territory in the planetary grid. Further, the crowning of Solar Christ Mary began the next stage of rebuilding the Solar Mary Diamond Sun template for many of the missing female Yanas, those of the White Queen and White Triple Solar Goddess lines of Elodia, that suffered genetic digression during the explosion of Lyra and capture of Tiamat. This ascending collective female aspect of White Diamond Elohii is an important light body component for embodying the Triple Solar Feminine Christ on the Earth, as well as reassembling the solar female principles corrected spiritual wings and retrieving her missing and hijacked parts from the phantom Tiamat wormhole. To restore the solar Mary female template to this planet, it has required the dismantling of lunar networks and the retrieval of several planetary logos matrices, and reconnecting sun star networks into the Albion lightbody for rebuilding a completely new diamond sun body for the gold ray seraphim lineages. Additionally, the reanimation of Solar Christ Mary in her 13th Dragon Queen form has been actively involved in the sequential activation of many Notre Dame, Our Lady Gothic cathedrals across the globe, purifying the sacred living waters existing beneath them sourcing from deep aquifers and natural mineral springs. Many Gothic cathedrals are constructed on top of ancient sacred healing bathing temples that were originally built upon dragon nodes with natural spring grottos sanctified in the Holy Mother's name by ancient Essenes, as the last of the Mary Magdalene Sophia lineages carried over this knowledge of the whereabouts of the remaining sacred healing waters in the earth. The Cosmic Holy Mother's living crystal waters in the ancient Azure healing temples are infused with her high-frequency charged sound particles of light passing through the natural formations of grotto spring water pools that appear in gorgeous ranges of pastel blue and violet colors. Ancient Essenes would utilize these running waters found in sacred springs for ritual purification bathing and baptism of the inner Christ. This is a natural function of the Holy Mother to infuse Sophianic sound tones into water, 
the St. Mary's de la Mer as the organic medium of infusing sonoluminescence qualities into running spring water, seas and rivers, which includes the phenomenon that current science describes as Cherenkov radiation. As may be obvious, this ancient knowledge of drinking blessed water with healing properties and sacred mineral springs with purification bathing waters that were hidden underneath Our Lady Cathedrals, has been eroded over time. Sadly, many of these natural springs were filled with cement or trashed, in order to cover up and desecrate their healing properties and connection to the Holy Mother. This ancient knowledge of light infused into water is the source of many myths and stories describing the search for the mysterious fountain of youth, along with pure natural springs that were discovered over the past few hundred years and then became widely known for their magical healing properties. Today some are sites known for their Marian apparitions, when Our Lady, Mother Mary is described to appear to spiritual pilgrims during their prayers near caves, grottos or running springs, where she tells them to drink and bathe in the healing waters, such as the story of the Lady of Lourdes Spring Water Grotto in France. Mainstream science attempts to mimic these same effects through Cherenkov radiation experiments in order to harness its electrical power generated through nuclear reactors like the Large Hadron Collider, which obviously does not generate any healing effects to the planet, but instead produces harmful effects to the human electromagnetic field and ley lines. Universal Twelfth Gate Destruction, Fall of Nibiru and Tiamat The Lyran War timeline holds the cellular memory of the collective shadow bodies and all of the fragmentation and disintegration that occurred during the destruction of the Twelfth Lyran Universal Stargate. As a result of the destruction of the 12D Universal Stargate, the planets Nibiru and Tiamat were partially exploded and then captured and forced into inorganic orbits around the Sun, which removed them from their capstone notice position in the Universal Tree of Life or Cathar Grid. The Melchizedek Logos consciousness aspects holding capstone positions of the solar Rishiratia fell into lower densities, and their sun star networks and planetary matrices were commandeered and hijacked and the Wesenorion groups generated inverted structures of anti-hierogamic AI machinery, used to force gender principle reversals throughout the mechanics of creation and timelines. Nibiru and Tiamat's planetary crystal core were connected to the twin suns of the universal Elisa Melchizedek Logos, through the cradle of Lyra in the triple stars of Aramatina, Avayan and Vega, which were universal gates that led out of the time matrix. The universal twelfth gate of Aramatina was once the 12D capstone for pre-fall Nibiru which held the nirvanic mind frequency bands of the solar logos. When Aramatina was destroyed, it allowed for the easy capture of Nibiru which became outfitted by the invaders as a battlestar. This was used for capturing the Emerald Order Mu'e or Triple Solar females in various timelines that were cultivated and tracked for forced breeding and genetic modification. Through this event, we source the origination of forcing anti-hierogamic unions and forced gender reversals through inorganic or artificial identities being inserted into capstone positions, which surfaces into the first waves of Antichrist false rod and staff couplings littered throughout the time matrix. Many of the founders with organic emerald sun DNA body parts that functioned as capstones for supporting the lower dimensions, which included the sapphire architecture of the Tenth Gate Holy Mother as the Tiamat logos, were made vulnerable for attack and capture with the blueprint schematics being uploaded into AI technology and being in enemy hands. Thus, the Emerald Order Lyran family was captured, cloned, removed from their cosmological positions in the time matrix and many were forced to merge with other genetic species and breed with the invaders. Recently there have been massive cleanups of this particular history impacting the 12D subharmonic strings of various timeline history records in pre-fall Nibiru, tracking virtual reality pockets of cloned identities and layers of artificially generated black cathedrals that were used as the prototypes for building the 11D DAF system. Subsequently, the invaders harnessed the consciousness fragments of the Solar Logos and Tiamat Logos damage which were outfitted by the NAA to run reversal currents, 
Base 10 and Metatronic Reversal, that scrambled fire letters in angelic human DNA. This was to damage DNA in ways that blocked multidimensional perception of other timelines and administer electroshock weaponry throughout the timelines, which erased the collective soul family memories of those incarnating onto the planet. Originally, Nibiru was the pre-fall planet functioning as the original 12D galactic stargate planet in our solar system that was merged with the 12D layers of solar logos Nirvanic avatar mind and further connected with the Melchizedek logos. This invasion event also displaced the organic 11D galactic stargate planet known as Chiron, which was merged with the 11D layers of the solar logos Buddhic mind, which generated major damage in the time matrix when it was stapled to the Uranus-Saturn orbits. Further the organic 10D galactic stargate planet Pluto was merged into the 10D layers of the solar logo's Christic mind, which was connected with the planet Tiamat in the second harmonic universe. Additionally, the pre-fall planet Tiamat was the twin sister to planet Terra in 5D, and that functioned as the original 5D link into 10D stargates for transmissions of the mother's blue staff and sapphire diamond waves into the planetary core. The pre-fall planet Tiamat was the Ibnik abode of the cosmic mother's triple white diamond goddesses, the white queens of Sophianic consciousness, which embodied the universal, galactic and planetary layers of the 10th stargate network that functioned as the direct portal into the solar logos, into Raisha worlds and the seven spirit sons of Iriadonis. Thus, the destruction and capture of Tiamat's consciousness body is what led to the utter destruction of the triple solar feminine, the Christosophia, as the female principle descended into lunar consciousness forms of sexual misery which made ascension and leaving the time matrix impossible. NAA's Capstones for Antichrist Couplings After the Atlantean Flood, the Thothian Leviathan group generated an extensive inorganic wormhole network that was accessed from ley lines running through Bermuda Triangle, Giza and Iran, that connected into the artificial tree of life phantom areas where they had cloned out the exploded parts of Nibiru and Tiamat. The entire planetary geography of the original Tiamat, along with the Ednik codes held by the white diamond goddesses or white solar queens, were cloned into the red trident anti-hierogamic machinery which functioned as the artificial galactic capstones in 4D Mars, 7D Saturn and 10D Pluto matrix. Capstones hold specific ascension coding for solar rishi or fully ascended beings that enter back into the time matrix, where the capstone code is translated into the genetic memory for the Ascended Master Consciousness in order for them to embody their full Ascended Master genetic coding within their lower dimensionalized station of identity. The 8D permanent seed crystal inside the monadic core holds the capstone coding, which holds the Ascended memories for the Rishik identity in such a way that only those beings that have achieved full transmigratory ascension out of time and then incarnated back into timelines, are the actual capstone code holders which show the embodiment of authentic Ascended Masters. Thus, the artificial galactic capstones in the Red Trident anti-hierogamic architecture were designed to block out original capstone codes in those Ascended Masters who became trapped on the planet, and as a consequence were blank slated and suffered amnesia. Because their capstone codes were not activating properly, they were replaced by artificial machined galactic capstones which were implanted and interfered with organic cellular memories which blocked their hierogamic union. In each of these artificially generated galactic capstones being managed by Thothian Leviathan entities, there are unholy alliances of white queens and red kings that were being forcibly merged into gender-reversed antichrist couplings. These unholy alliances of white queen and red king are consummated in satanic rituals by the Luciferian bloodlines that utilize the demonic hierarchies with this symbolism, in order to call forth the archetypal forces of antichrist couplings and their demonic orders connected to red trident. Further, the satanic rituals commonly used with the White Queen and Red King symbolism is during the most important black magic sexual rituals of the Luciferian bloodlines, 
planned on special astrological events or master number dates. This is for the purpose of serving their NAA masters, in order to spread gender reversals, distorted sexual misery types of homosexuality, and generating Baphomet consecrations for transgenders, as the result of using torture or rape methods from childhood to reverse the pain and pleasure reactions in the sexual centers of the human body. Each dimensional layer of red trident has demonic hierarchies that are directly coded into these NAA capstones which are designed to invert, damage or interfere with organic capstone codes of authentic ascended masters. This is especially coveted by NA entities to trick, lure and crash ascended beings genetic codes and capstone codes in order to turn them into vicious black magicians, where they become possessed by these same demonic and alien hierarchies connected to the NAA's Antichrist capstones. Additionally, we believe that this red trident architecture is the primary alien machinery that is responsible for transmitting the majority of alien love bite scenarios and many related red cube problems involving astral fantasy implants of romantic or sexual feelings towards would-be partners. Many of these inserted partners being manipulated by the alien love by asterisk of red cube projections are not natural to that individual, but designed to block or interfere with proper inner male-female integration and personal ascension activation. Unaware people can be weaponized on the astral to exacerbate sexual misery betrayals that are actually purposed to be targeted for genetic code crashers, creating reptilian shapeshifter black magicians, or forcing connections with enemies from past karmic entanglements, where the person playing the role of potential romantic interest may have slayed or tortured you in previous timelines. Although this situation can be incredibly educational for aggressive spiritual lessons in self-mastery and cultivating personal discernment, for those unaware of this pitfall, it can feel incredibly harsh as if being singled out for cruel and unusual punishment. If you are a single starseed this astral manipulation is more prevalent and so it is wise to know beforehand, of this strategy of spiritual warfare and how it is used to interfere with developing healthy couplings, as well as break our loving hearts by breaking down our spiritual will. The artificial galactic capstones were anchored in the trimatrix layers of the galactic stargate in 4D Mars attached to Phantom Nibiru, which enthroned Azazel and Black Lilith as gender reversal capstones blocking the natural inner male-female integration at the soul matrix layers. The second layer of artificial capstones are in the galactic stargate in 7D Saturn attached to inorganic orbit of 11D Chiron, which enthroned Isis and Osiris as gender reversal capstones blocking the natural inner male-female integration at the monadic matrix layers. Further this matrix was being governed by 7D inverted violet ray of the red cube Egyptian pantheon entities called Horus R.A., generating the false feminine pale magenta fields at the crown designed to lock down 1D through 7D by corrupting the elemental layers in the planetary Ka body. Lastly, the third layer of artificial capstones are in the galactic stargate of 10D Pluto attached to phantom Tiamat wormholes, which enthroned Concedia and Moloch, as gender reversal capstones blocking the natural inner male-female integration at the solar logos layers. Further, this red trident network formed into several nodes connecting into the phantom areas of grid damage in the planetary grid network, which are running 10D reversal currents for the anti-hierogamic technologies. Emerald Guardians are working on the Pluto matrix layers connected to the phantom Tiamat, in which the Blue Rainbow Bridge and Holy Mountain architecture are fundamental to the retrievals of many Ascended Masters as well as the organic Prefall Tiamat logos and all of its parts during this phase. The Tiamat Phantom Matrix was designed to distort the sound templates of all natural water elementals found in the planetary aquifer system, as these phantom sonic pillars were running leviathan genetic sequences to obstruct the living waters of the triple solar goddess in the cathedrals and sacred sites, inverting them into black magic baphomet coating, thus blocking the physicalization and communication with the cosmic mother's white queen aspects. 
The destruction of Tiamat by pulling her planetary logo's morphogenetic field into a phantom wormhole, was intended to grotesquely deform the Universal Holy Mother and her solar daughters into consubstantiality with the Beast Machine. To torture them, to strip them of their holy spiritual beauty, and to capture their pain through lunar consciousness forces of anti-life inversions that would force Earth Teragaia's matrix into merging with the NAA's artificial time waves and fallen timelines of Kali Rima, sucking all life on the planet into the Phantom Matrix. Phoenix Wormhole and Phantom Tiamat Wormhole Additionally, the Phoenix Wormhole was made from the inverted parts of Tiamat's sapphire body captured in the tenth dimensional layers of the Pluto Matrix, and further electronically merged with an array of red cube cloned parts in the red trident which has held together the frequency fence and checkerboard matrix anchored into the 11D Stonehenge Stargate. This construct has been referred to previously as the Poison Apple Network that was being managed by Thubanites, the means through which magnetic distortions and gravitational wave anomalies on the planet have been enforced through the Stonehenge control over the 11th Stargate Network. Tiamat's inverted consciousness parts were cloned into the Phantom and then twinned into Red Trident architecture to form the artificial rod and staff alignments for transmitting gender reversal and anti-hierogamic technology throughout the planet. Additionally, the exploded parts of Nibiru were fashioned into a militarized battle station called Wormwood, and this unholy alliance forced between Tiamat and Nibiruian Wormwood were tethered together in the eleven and half dimensional. 11.5D layers, as the main control panel for the NAA groups defending their control over the Stonehenge Stargate. Phantom Nibiru as the Wormwood Battlestar, and the Phantom Wormholes and fragmented shards of Tiamat's Matrix were linked into the Stonehenge Gateway and running in the 11th Stargate Network which acted as the inorganic capstone code for Antichrist couplings, anti-hierogamic union and alien love bite relationships based on archetypal forces of the inversions of the White Queen and Red King. As stationed in 4D-7D-10D Red Trident architecture of the Thothian Leviathans. The dismantling and retrievals continue on with Guardians addressing the next sequence of rehabilitation of Stonehenge, which is removing the unholy pairing of Phantom Nibiru and Phantom Tiamat as galactic capstones for Antichrist couplings. As the Cosmic Mother and Cosmic Father further descend into the Albion Lightbody and its control center located in the United Kingdom, the major spiritual battle for controlling this specific 11D network through the extraction and eviction of assorted black hole generated AI hybrid chimeric creatures and leviathan entities attempting to defend sections of the dismantled pieces of Tiamat's wormhole, continues onward. The Sophianic Eye of Tiamat and Ancient Eternal Eyes During the Emerald Guardian reclamation of the Draco constellation, it was revealed that the Thuban star function was purposed as the guardian dragon eye of the Templar on the solar logos plane that expressed the law of gender, and was the protector of the cellular memories recorded in the twelve timelines throughout the planetary grid system. A similar function was identified on Prefall Tiamat that served as the Sophia Nikai for the white triple solar goddesses and solar Marys. The Sophia Nikai was harnessed through the Phantom Tiamat and Pluto Matrix and was used for transmitting 10D black plasmas from a black sun installed in the Phantom Tiamat core and was then running these reversal currents through the wormhole for the Leviathan entities. This black sun machinery generated obfuscations and distortions that inverted the Sophia Nikai functions for the use of individuals practicing black magic for conjuring black dragons and lunar female demonic forces, which manifest themselves through the archetypal eye filters of the black magicians or those darkly ignorant worshipping Baphomet archetypes and its fallen creations. Essentially, this is the hijack and stealing of the organic functions of the Sophianic Eye of Tiamat to be harnessed into fallen triple solar goddess reversals, into fragmented Akamoth and Baphomet distortions that are intended to be a mockery and defilement of the solar feminine. The Leviathan and their demonic hierarchies also referred to as the Monsters of Chaos, were hijacking the Sophianic Eye the White Queen Dragon Templar of the White Triple Solar Goddesses. 
This was tracked into the 2D Sarasota and Temple Mount stargates through the attached Tiamat wormhole that was accessible from both of these locations and seen in the 6D, 7D distortions generated through Jupiter and Saturn. Guardian Host gave the Leviathan an ultimatum to exit these areas 10 years ago, giving them advanced notice before the Solar Christ Michael and Mary were reseated in the Golden Cube of Temple Mount and ignited their twin 13th Dragon Ouroboros lines. Previous to the return of Elisa, major excavations and retrievals for the White Queen Templar and Sophia Nikai from Tiamat histories were discovered to be fragmented into shards and then sprayed all over Gobekli Tepe in Turkey. This was for the purpose of binding Black Madonna network power gathered in the Middle East and Black Sea regions through satanic rituals and lunar rituals that were being carried out across the globe, and why Gobekli Teep was being viciously guarded by an enormous Black Dragon Archon. The efforts to dismantle this monstrosity has been ongoing for years, with hordes of demonic entities and black jinn being carried off for eviction with their Moloch grid SRA tanks and black cube matrices connected into the lunar worship religions. This informed us that this site has been used for thousands of years as a Moloch child sacrifice headquarters connected to the hijacking of the Tiamat body, where these souls were sacrificed and were being harnessed in this region for serving the Antichrist agendas. This massive NAA network in Gobekli Teep was building a dreadful Black Dragon AI hybrid hierarchy based upon the eight forms of Kali, intentionally transforming the triple goddess green, blue and white Terra Elisa principles throughout the natural kingdoms to become contorted into the black reversal clock shields and be used for the proliferation of darkness, destruction and death to all Diamond Sun genetic creations. Black Dragon Kali was an unnatural entity generated for the Dark Alien Mother Network in order to replace Tiamat in the 10th Stargate Network. It was the harnessing of the monsters of chaos that were designed to repel Holy Mother's authentic presence in our world and force the trajectory of our planet into fallen timelines through the use of reversed clock shields and artificial time cycles referred to as the Fall of Kali Rima. Black Dragon Kali in Gobekli Teep has been removed, but the Antichrist architecture used to form her Black Sun AI hybrid consciousness is an ongoing work in progress in which to identify all areas in the planetary grid where this dark alien mother has infected and damaged the planetary logos. Thus, the reclamation of the Sophianic Eye of Tiamat and collapse of the phantom wormhole feedlines are a celebratory blessing which is directly connected to the correction and installation of the eternal ancient eyes that began with the return of Elisa Melchizedek as the universal mother overlighting the white queens with the staff of Elisa. The planet is traversing the starborn cycle in which the Eye of God transmits the core LAVA flows that source from the cosmic spirit suns, and the staff of Elisa begins to pour out the iris of milky white and silver sparkling plasmas that coat the brain, nervous system and cerebral spinal fluid. During this stage of solar symbiosis lightbody activation the ancient eternal eyes start to form within the lotus points, blooming into beautiful plasma flowers and then forming a trinity shield, which further activates neuronal bundles in the 9D medulla area of the reticular formation, brain stem and entire spinal cord. The universal Elisa mother imprints the rainbow tesseract cube for the corrections of the white triple solar goddesses, Christ Mary Sophias, the white queens, that imprints the brain and nervous system with the complete schematic of the Elisa cathedral network. The Elisa Cathedral runs its corrected crystal key imprint with several plasma skins of pink, white and blue crystal lotus and rose flowerings, sending these codes throughout the neuronal circuitry of the central nervous system. Then they become energetic receivers of the musical transmissions of the Cosmic Mothers to Universal Mothers Sophia Nick sound tones running through the soft membranes of orifices in the eyes, nostrils, ears, mouth and the genital region. When this activation occurs, it begins a lengthy sequence of purging out the inorganic plasmas, corrupted elementals and foreign substances, that dark or artificial miasmatic content of pathogenic residues that have been deposited or implanted in the membranes of the plasma lightbody and fascia crystalline matrix. 
The toxicity that has built up over the evolutionary journey of the personal Christ, then starts to surface in the mucous membranes or orifices in order to find ways to detoxify through the physical body's elimination channels. During this phase, ascending families are being exposed to the highest cosmic frequencies we've had available to us from this density, and thus some changes in lifestyle may be required in order to handle the immensity of incoming solar activations. Thus, some may experience physical discomfort with soreness, blisters, and bloody excretions from the mucous membrane areas, skin and bodily orifices. If the human body's eliminating channels are slow, clogged up or not able to handle the miasmatic load for appropriate detoxification, this accumulated toxic buildup may be confused as an illness and subsequently diagnosed as a tumor or disease, when it is actually the dire need of the body to undergo rapid transmutation for detoxification and purification. Prefall Tiamat, 12D Crystal Keys and Mother Dragon Key RA The Emerald Guardians established and locked down an interdimensional bridge between the Prefall Tiamat Matrix connecting into Prefall Terra and the 10D Sapphire Diamond Shields that link into Melchizedek Logos and the Mahara Reisha Sunstar Network. Thus, this is functioning as a trimatrix interdimensional galactic highway for more retrievals of authentic ascended masters from Tiamat, Terra and Earth. This brought on the collapse of hijacked holy mountain architecture connected to these same solar dragon star human ascended masters and their ascension chambers, ascension seats, cloud city retreats, their capstone coded consciousness records, sacred wisdom teachings and relics along with retrieving hijacked and damaged spiritual body parts. Recent attention has been focused upon rehabilitation and recovery of the 12D organic white consciousness layers through all subharmonic frequency bands to correct the Maharadi's lines that make up 12D white radial projections fields of transharmonic spinning Merkaba fields of the solar logos. This dimension is the area of the Lyran 12th Gate and Nirvanic Mind Alterations, which are actively being cleaned up from various NAA clone structures during the Lyran Wars along with the cloned Black Dragon identities that were replicated for guarding the Phantom Black Heaven or 11D Death System. There is a 12D white crystal key inside of the 14th Golden Chakra that is usually dormant until the individual is initiated into the 12D Christos Maharada shield and builds their 14D top shield. This personal light body function also applies to the planetary Stargate system, and is especially relevant to the activation of the 12D Stargate network and Gothic cathedrals with an active underground aquifer system connected to major crystals that run sound frequencies through the planetary Sophianic plasma rings. Thus, the recent corrections made to the White Crystal Key are connected to the return of the White Queens who embody the collective Crystal Sophia consciousness instruction sets and hold gatekeeper access into the Nirvanic mind through authentic ascended master capstone codes. This was recently initiated through the 36D Heavenly Holy Mother emanation of Key RA, Key RHA, of the RHA Violet Ray God Worlds, through her transmissions of Amethyst Dragon Templar codes generated for corrections in the Earth's Ka body for dismantling the red wave distortions of red cube weaponry. Heavenly Mother Ki Ra holds her trident scepter with an orchestral musical sheet of triwave sound tones for building the electro-tonal and musical sound template corrections needed for the inverted Avalon of Aeonid Nick coding which was recorded from within the Tiamat Logos matrix. Beloved Mother Ki Ra brought forth her presence for protecting the alchemical ceremonial magic functions that were hijacked through the 7D Violet Ray inversions, which the invaders utilized to build upon an artificial red cube system of red trident that is harnessing the ceremonial magic alchemical principles known as Merlion. Mother Ki Ra expresses that these are the sacred spiritual alchemical principles and ancient knowledge that was held within the authentic embodiments of the White Diamond Solar Christ Mary Sophias and the Pink Diamond Pegasi Mare Lions, which are from the aquatic Mare lineages. The Tritone Luminary Aurora Dragon Ki Ra is a 36D Ra God creator, 
which reveals herself in a violet dragon Uroboros body that shows she is from the ancient builder races of the Cosmic Christos Solar Dragon family. She gave birth to the 1D chakra wave spectrum in the planetary core which is known as the Ka battery body of the Earth. This heavenly mother manifested as the Kiara principle and seeded her cosmic consciousness to form into the Ka battery body of the planet, and with the revelation of her divine presence returning into the Albion, brings awareness to the current Emerald Guardian projects to override of the violet ray distortions of false feminine banshee programs, and to override the NAA's abuse of the Ka body through the artificial manipulation of the red wave spectrum. Beloved Mother Kiara speaks of the Paleodorian Covenant and shows the timelines of the Paleodorian seeding from about 800,000 years ago, during the fourth planetary round. During this particular evolutionary cycle, Mother Dragon Kiara shows the point in the timeline when the Code of the Violet Sun in the Violet Ray created beings and the Code of Golden Dawn in the Gold Ray created beings were combined together, and that this timeline generated another Christic branch connected to the threefold founder Rishik lines. Thus, Mother Kiara expresses the importance of the Gold Order Sun DNA plan to be the planetary default ascension vehicle during the Paleodorian activations, along with the Christos rehabilitation mission for the Gold Ray Seraphim template in which the pure Gold Ray 12 Strand Core Manifestation template for the Seraphim lineages has been generated for the entirety of Christ Michael Avian lineages. As our Mother Dragon Kiara is currently overseeing the correction of her consciousness that originally generated the planetary Ka body, she protects the 12D White Crystal for access on behalf of the Violet and Gold Orders, to help support these genetic lineages to activate their inner white crystal located inside their 14D gold ray centers. Thus, those with primary gold order seraphim genetics have had more problems activating their bottom shield and top shields with golden fleece buffer, due to the historical problems involving the genetic hybridization of seraphim with the 10D Tiamat reversals and the black sun DNA of invading black sun dragon moth. Thus, with current Guardian projects it appears to directly support the Seraphim family to connect with their corrected chakra crystal keys and align them into the proper position in which to organically flow into these Solar Logos light body initiations. The rotational spin of the crystal keys on the inner vertical channel are what control and modulate dimensional frequencies and intelligence through the axiotonal and meridian lines, then ultimately the chakra energy centers that flow into other bodily energy systems. The crystal key is the function that keeps other stations of identity in other dimensions in their respective time and space, and the auric layers of the body in its respective dimensions or timelines. With current shifts, some of the ascending Christo starseeds are undergoing the Paleodorian cell or personal Christ initiation, as the mental bodies of all identities throughout the cosmic clock, or twelve astrological precessions begin to return, merge and integrate in order to ascend together, at which time the crystal keys will activate. The energetic mechanics of the crystal keys greatly impact the ascending human biology in order to evolve the capacity to embody the highest expressions of the individual's diamond sun consciousness. The end of humanity's painful Tiamat history. Through the compassionate witnessing of the hidden histories of Tiamat, it has been observed exactly how the NAA invaders accomplished the utter destruction of the Holy Mother's presence on the planet and how the Solar Feminine's existence was lost in the rewritten history controlled by the invaders. The process of hunting down our White Queens, killing them and inverting the Sophianic Triple Solar Goddesses by trapping them into phantom wormholes, is how they infiltrated our world. Generating Antichrist shadows of lunar consciousness, parasites and satanic gestalts in order to perpetrate complete tyrannical control, consciousness enslavement and torture of the Holy Mother's principle. The history of the explosion and capture of Tiamat, reveals the utter destruction of the solar feminine Christ principle along with the fall of solar dragons, which destroyed the possibility of authentic ascended masters completing their hierogamic union and taking their rightful place in the cosmic clock of the eons. 
Our deep loving gratitude and prayers to God, the Paleodorian Dragon King families and all of the Christos Guardians for working tirelessly in order to ensure this painful history of Tiamat and its Phantom Matrix weaponization targeting humanity, is finally coming to its end. The Emerald Order Cosmic Mother, the original Mother of Dragons has finally taken her rightful place in the 10th Stargate Network restoring the Sophianic connections to her daughters, the white triple solar goddess emanations of the solar Christ Mary Sophias. Cosmic Mother Dragon has brought with her the pre-fall perfected Ednic Matrix of Tiamat, merging her morphogenetic patterns with pre-fall Terra to create the manifestation of the corrected Sun Star Network for their binary stars, as Terra and Tiamat are reunited and recorded in the Ascended Master Capstone Codes now being protected in the Albion. Peace be with your heart. Peace be with your mind. Peace be with your body. May all be with the unconditional love and perfect peace held in the eternal light of God and Christ. Until next, stay in the luminosity of your Avatar Christo Sophia heart path. Please be kind to yourself and to each other. With a loving heart.